if we want to see great spiritual awakening and revival in our country, we as the sons of God, you and me, hallelujah, we must be use of God starting with us in this area because the world today is looking for supernatural. Uh, they're using for they're looking for something extraordinary to happen in a time like this they're they're waiting for hope and the hope that we can give them is the power of christ hallelujah moving in their lives so cast away your unbelief cast away your unbelief faith is required in order for greater things to be manifested. Believe God for greater things to happen. First in your life, in my life. Believe God for greater things to happen in your church. Glory to God. That the Lord will bless you and bless you. the church that the Lord has set you over as a uh, under shepherd. Believe. Believe supernaturally. Hallelujah, that something will happen. Why? Because we are serving a supernatural God. And the Bible says that we are co-laborers together with God. Glory to Jesus. So if you are a co-worker with God, that means if he is supernatural, it means a miraculous working God. It follows that if you allow him to work through you, there will be miracles, signs and wonders and miracles and miraculous provision for what you are doing in his kingdom. And you say, Amen. Hallelujah. Number four, and least, last but not least, let us work for greater things. The first one, prepare for greater things for those of you that are just, you know, joining us. The second point is pray for greater things. Madali lamang aking outline. The third one is believe God for greater things. And number four, let us work for greater things. Hallelujah. The greatest work on earth is the work of the kingdom of God. No other work is greater. Politics is good, is great, is necessary, evil. All the work that we do, I emphasize the fact that even for our businessmen and businesswomen and those that are employed in government, employed, having good employment, uh, their jobs are good and it's important for the family but there's a greater work than that and that is the work of the kingdom of god hallelujah thing is so many people are working primarily to earn money but jesus said oops okay so akala ko na cancel na ako uh, but jesus said Occupy till I come. Occupy till I come. The, the, in another translation, it says, do business till I come. And so, brothers and sisters, uh, sa ating PGCAG, AOG, there is no business greater than the business of God's kingdom. And where you are right now is a branch of God's kingdom, the church. Hallelujah. Please bear that in mind. Katulad ng mga national na mga korporasyon, meron silang branch sa Davao, may branch sa Cebu, may branch sa Mindoro, may branch sa Ilocos, may branch at meron silang iba't ibang mga distribution unit. Let me tell you, your local church, the churches that the Lord has set you over, 
Alleluia is an extension, the business extension of the kingdom of God. And the business that we do is not, you know, it's not primarily about dealing in money and real estate, etc. Though that's, you know, come with the territory. Those are just, uh, sabi na natin, uh, friends benefits. If you do what he tells you to do, the most important business in the business of the kingdom are people, souls being saved. People being baptized in water. People being baptized in the Holy Spirit. Two nights ago, during our season of prayer, I just told them, how many of you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit? You have not yet baptized in the Holy Spirit. Come forward. There were hundreds who came. And many of them were filled, were baptized in the Holy Spirit. And he spoke in other tongues. We need to get back to the basic business for which God has called us. Amen. And let's do the greater works. Hallelujah. Three things you can do with your life. You can apply this also. Three things you can do with your life. You can waste it. You can waste it. It's a sermon in itself. <laughs> it's a sermon in itself. You can waste it. And a lot of people, they're wasting their life, wasting their time. Patambay, tambay lang. And some, you know, if you're not careful, bisang sa ministry ka, you do a lot of time wasters. <laughs> Just don't wait for Sunday to come along, man. Sunday to Sunday and so you can waste it, wasted years, wasted time. Number two, you can just spend it. It's like money, once it's gone. Well, don't get me wrong. In this two, in the second category, it's fun, you know. Uh, spending, going on vacations, nothing wrong with that, and go about your work and enjoy your family. And God does want us to enjoy our family and. You can spend, and then the time comes that you retire, and you say, I had a nice life. You'll even go to heaven. But the third one is what I like us to do. You can invest it for greater things. You can invest it for greater things. You know the uh, philosophy yeah. of investing. It, that it will grow. Your investment will grow. And it will last. Your investment will outlive you. So, kung nag invest ka, you know, when the Lord takes you home, it's, uh, your children will uh, inherit it, your grandchildren. But I'm talking about spiritual life investment that will outlive you and that it will remain throughout and it and it will remain throughout all eternity amen father i thank you for your goodness to us bless your word to our hearts in jesus name we ask these things amen and amen all right and uh, I think we, Pastor Jerry, give us an update.